a.m. coast to coast. And part of the border on iHeartRadio today, also AM FM 247.com. We have got a great guest we are going to talk to here in just a few moments. She is going to join us live here on our big broadcast. And uh, it is an interesting interview today. So we go to the telephones. Uh, Emmy, go ahead and introduce yourself, my friend. Tell us a bit about yourself. Hello there. It's Emmy McGonham. I'm actually the author of Free Falling, which is a novel of senior romance. This is an unusual genre, and I figure I've got a story to bring forward to inspire people to live their joy to their last breath. Well, you are fantastic. Uh, tell us a little bit about this book and why you decided to write it, my friend. Well, I wrote it because I'm a senior. I noticed at 50 years old, I started to be less visible in the world. And though I felt young, I knew that in the workplace and even in the dating world, a woman over 50 becomes seen as losing potential, and I felt that that was a ridiculous perspective. So I decided to dive into writing a senior romance. Along the way, however, I had a friend who was dying of Lewy body dementia, and I peppered the story with episodes of Lewy body dementia to depict one of the many kinds of challenges one can run into in the dating world, whether it be former relationships, health concerns, family issues, senior dating takes on a whole new series of issues. Yes, indeed. So tell me a little bit about the writing process for, for this book and bringing it to life. I had been a singer-songwriter in my youth, and in fact, you can see some of that on amyspirit.com. I've also been a photographer, but I had decided that I wanted to write a novel. So there we came into the pandemic. I had done a preliminary version of the story I wanted to write, and then started to work with a coach so I could clean up and give a better perspective on the story that I had written. It took me about a year and a half of just writing to get the story out. Then I went through the editing process. My discipline is to write every night from midnight to 4 a.m. That's when the world is quiet. Yep. That is fantastic. We have got a great guest with us today. Uh, she joins us live here on our big broadcast talking about free falling. So this book, incredibly well written. Tell me a little bit about what you want readers to take away from your writing. Well, I'd like them to say, just like you did, that it's good writing. <laughs> But I also have the message and story that I feel is important, and that is that if we really look at a character and really dive into their reasons for being who they are, we are able to go from judgment to compassion. And I think that's the trajectory of free-falling. By the way, that's one word, free-falling. And in that story, we go from judging behaviors that this lead character would never have done in her youth, but found herself enchanted by someone who didn't meet her rule. And then we understand why and how that happened by the end of the story. That is awesome. We have got a great guest with us today. She joins us live here on our big broadcast, and Emmy joins us talking about free-falling. So 
uh, how do we get in touch with you online? Is 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 there a website or there social media? How, how how do we how do we get in touch with you about this book? Well, there's a little bit of everything. My website is Emi Spirit. That's E M E S P I R I T dot com. Okay. I also have a page, Emi Spirit, on Facebook and another one on Instagram. And I really enjoy keeping in contact with people who appreciate the work I do. That is awesome. That is awesome. We have got a great guest with us today. The author of Free Falling joins us today here on the telephone. So talk to me about writing romance for seniors. Well, romance for seniors is a new genre. The typical trajectory of a romance, if you fall into the template, you're going to have people seeing each other, typically younger people. They'll meet each other, maybe not be that interested. Then along the arc of the story, they become curious. They're kind of thrown together. Then they begin to like each other, and at the end, they live happily ever after. This story, though it has a happy ending, it includes the complications of life that I think are more indicative of a senior romance that has a couple of different story arcs that take you into knowing the life story of the characters. That is awesome. We have got a great guest with us today. She joins us live here on a big broadcast. Emmy McNam is with us. Free Falling is the latest from her, and she joins us here on our big program. So tell me about how romance can get messy and complicated at any age. <laughs> well, at any age, you can get messy and complicated by not really listening to each other, not paying attention to who our companions really are. Sometimes people project a version of who they want us to see, but that may not be the full story. So by the time you become a senior and a person projects a version of who they are, it is our job to figure out who they really are and how they got to who they are now. When we meet people in who they truly are, then we have the potential to build a truly intimate relationship with them. Until that point, it's just mirror attractions. I like the way who you are, you like the way I am, and that works for a while. But when we're going for the depth, in a senior relationship, that deeper intimacy has potential because of the life experience brought to the relationship. And, you know, we know life is short, so the small things don't create the explosions that they might have when we were younger. So what has been the feedback you've gotten on this book so far? Well, it's been really exciting. As you might know, it was compared to Bridges of Madison County by Kirkus Reviews. I have gotten other good reviews, too, but I'll tell you what's really exciting is when I get in front of a group of people and I see those you would not expect to get excited get all fired up. I'll give you an example. <laughs> I was in Seattle, and there was this great big guy, oh, maybe 6'5", probably 300 pounds, sitting at the back of the room, and, you know, he's smiling, kind of nodding me along. And then all of a sudden, he got very excited. He was among the people that bought the book, and he said, you're telling the truth. He goes out into the lobby, and I'll be darned if that guy didn't sell three more books. <laughs> that is awesome. 
<laughs> that is fantastic. His new marketing plan, right? He's out there letting the ladies know you're still sexy. Come on. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. We have got a great guest with us today. She joins us live. She's the author of Free Falling. Uh, Emmy McNam is with us, and she is amazing. And uh, you can get more information. EMESpirit.com is the official website. Go over and check that out today. So tell me about how caring for a friend with uh, Louis body dementia helped influence this story and some of the characters. Give me more details. I was writing what I thought was the dilemma, and that was the standard senior romance where there are the complications we've discussed it. But I was taking care of an older man who had Lewy body dementia. It was 2020. I couldn't go visit him, so he was calling me up to 50 times a day wow. looking for help to be grounded. So as he would share his stories, I found that dementia drifting into the characters that I was writing. By final edit, I knew the better story included the trajectory of Charlotte, the lead character, who took care of her dad, who had Louis body dementia, and then eventually found she had symptoms of Louis body dementia. Oh, wow. We have got a great guest with us today. She joins us live here on our big broadcast. Emmy McNam is with us. Free Falling is the latest from her, and she joins us here on our big, big broadcast. So what is next for you as an author now that this book has been out and you're out promoting it and things of that nature? I am working on my next book and expect to have that out early next year. This book came out on Valentine's Day, which I consider Senior Romance Day. <laughs> and I would love it if I had the next book out by then. I've been very busy with meeting people and and doing the conversations related to free falling, but I do believe that um, I'm at least halfway through on the next book, and I believe I'll be able to get it out by early next year. And that book's working title right now is Reconfigured Dreams. Again, all of this can be found on emispirit.com. And my name is Emi McAnum. And you can find my book at any bookseller. And if you go to my website, you'll notice it's available as a print book, an e-book, and also as an audio book. We have got a great guest with us today. She joins us live here on our big program. So you've put a lot of time and effort into this book. What are some of your goals for this book? Well, you know, who wouldn't want to be in the New York Times? I'm not going to be silly. Of course, everybody has the dream. But the reality of books, is that there are very few that get there. So what is it I'm looking for? I want to make a difference. I want to open the eyes of people to the idea that seniors are still alive and they have seeds of who they are, even as physical and cognitive challenges come along the way. And I expect in in this book as well as the next book to help people open their eyes to the potential in their lives, in the lives of those they love, and come to a better understanding of who seniors really are. We have got a great guest with us today. Check out emespirit.com. That's the letter E, the letter M, the letter E, spirit.com. For more information on Emmy's brand new book, Free Falling, and she's with us today here 
on our big program talking a little bit about this incredible, incredible book. So what do you want readers to take away from your writing of this incredible book? Because you've written an incredible, incredible read here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that high compliment because I know you're familiar with other writers. I believe that my style of writing is clean. I um, took out 26,000 words when I went through final edit and brought the story down to the bones so that it would be a page turner. I understand we have achieved that goal with this book, and the point of doing that is helping make it easy to learn these things that we haven't been exposed to before because it doesn't fall into that easy pattern that we're familiar with. I felt it was especially important for me to make it accessible. So I am hoping the reader finds that this book takes them into another world and a hopeful perspective. Well, Emmy, I really appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on our broadcast and chatting with us. And uh, you can get more information at emespirit.com. The book is free falling. And uh, Emmy has been our guest today. Emmy, thanks for making some time for us today. This has been a wonderful conversation. I look forward to uh, talking to you again. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, my friend. You too, James. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, we have got more coming up. If you're listening to us on the big broadcast, if you're listening to us on any other platform, who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> 